Let's see this example in Minitab. Suppose that we need to extract a sample of 200 data points from this data where the queries are split by segments and we need to use a stratified random sample. So the first step is to know how many data points we have in each segment. So we use the tally common to display the counts and persons for the different segments. So we're going to start tables tally individual variables and then we select the column segment and we want to show the counts and the persons so we take as well persons and we are going to store the results so we click on store results and when we click OK we can see that we have for the segment A 604 data points segment B 293 data points segment C 142 data points with the related percentage for all of them. Now the second step is to use the calculator to obtain the related sample size to take within each segment. So we go into calc, calculator, and then we type, uh, we are going to store the result in column C7. So we open the bracket, we click on tally 3, and we multiply this by 200, the number of data points that we need to extract, and then we divide this by 100. When we click OK, we can assign as a formula so that it will be repeated for all the different cells. When we click OK, we can see that in uh, uh, column C7, we have now the number of data points that we need to extract if we want to have an overall of 200 data points extracted from the overall queries. So for each segment we have the related number of data points that we need to extract. We can name the column um, data points. The third step is to use the common unstack to split the content of the column queries into more columns. So we go into data, unstack colon, then so we are going now to split uh, all the data points that are under queries into uh, different columns using the subscript segment. So we are going to unstack the data in queries using subscripts in segment. We are storing the data after the last column in use we name the columns containing the unstacked data. When we click OK, then we can see that we have the queries for segment A, queries for segment B, queries for segment C. So what have we done? Let's summarize it. So we had a worksheet with two columns. The first column contained the number of queries, so the ID for each query, and the second column had the segment of the query. Then we needed to understand how many um, queries belonged to the segment segment A, how many queries belonged to segment B, and how many of them belonged to segment C. So we used the common tally so that for each segment we know how many data points we have and looking at the overall number of queries we have the related percentage. Now. Considering that we needed to extract 200 data points from this worksheet, from this table, then we apply the formula so that for each segment we have the related number of data points in proportion that we need to extract. Okay, so having this information now, I know that for each segment I need to extract a specific number of data points. So for the queries that belong to the segment A, I need to extract 116 data points. For the queries that belong to segment B, I need to extract 56 data points. And for queries of segment C, I need to extract 27 data points. So it's in proportion of the 200 data points. Now, I use the common unstack column queries so that now I have three columns uh, based on the segment. Now, what I need to do. I need to take a random sample from each of the column. So 
for the queries that belong to segment A, I need to extract 116 data points. So in order to do it, I go into Calc, Random Data, Sample from Colon, then number of row to sample we know that we need to extract from the queries that belong to segment A 116 data points from the colon query segment A. We could store the data in colon C11 or we can just uh, replace the data that we have in colon query segment A with the new data with the 116 data points. So we are going to use the same colon so we use query segment A. So we extract from here 116 and we replace the data in this column. Now we are not going to use sample with replacement because this would mean that we could have two data points that are similar. So we leave this uh, uh, box unchecked. When we click OK, then the data has been replaced. If I want to check in colon query segment A, I should have 116 data points. Let's check very quickly. Yes. 116 data points. We repeat this step for query segment B and query segment C. So we're going to calc random data, sample from sample from colon, segment B. We replace the data in the same segment B and for this this time we need to extract 56 data points. So it's 56 and we leave this one unchecked and we repeat this step for queries that belong to segment C, random data, sample from colon, we need to extract 27 data points, 27 from C, and we store the data in the same column C. When we click OK, we have the data that has been extracted. Now, once we have the data that has been extracted for each of the column, the following step is to stack the columns into one column and create a column of subscripts to indicate which column the observations come from. So let's see it. So we have the data that is split. We're going to put the data to combine the data in one column. So we go into data, we go into stack columns, then we select queries segment A, B, and C, and we keep it in the colon of the current worksheet and it will be the colon C11 which is one of the colon that is available and we store the script in colon C12. Let's see the result. Okay, so we have all the data that has been extracted and I know exactly from where it comes from.